Hello and welcome to this Affinity software tutorial and in this tutorial I want to be looking at assets. Now assets has been available in designer for quite a while and they've just been newly sort of added to Affinity Photo in the 1.7 update and in the brand new Affinity Publisher they are also available from the assets tab that is here. Now I'm not necessarily going to look at how you use them because um, it has been covered before but basically you just click on the one you want and drag it into your design and you can use it that way. I really want to look at sort of making your own little collections and you know how to do that. Now I'm going to do this in photo mainly because I'm more comfortable in photo um, but just so you know that this is what I'm going to do but it's exactly the same in designer publisher and photo because it's all done in the same way so to start off with you see I've got a as you can see I've got loads of designs and graphics and whatever that I've downloaded now I do not buy these things. I only really look for free ones when they turn up. But it does mean, because I've got a load of them, if I want a particular picture or something like that, it's, you know, it's not easy to find a certain picture that you might want. And especially like if you, sometimes you get collections of free stuff here, because I've got like the free graphics bundle version six and the free graphics bundle version seven. And if you open that, as you can see there's a whole group of um, designs that have been collected together by in this case design bundles to advertise some of their bundles which they give away for free now I don't think this bundle is available for free now but if we have a look at this astronaut clip art one here let's say you're doing a project that's all about spacecraft and what have you and you want to make up a assets panel for it you know you can put these into whichever program you have and make an assets collection for yourself as long as you do not sort of distribute this to other people I can't see how this is a problem copyright wise if you're just using it yourself in your own assets panel so that's all I can say is, you know, don't, if you can make your own collections, but do not share these around because these are obviously copyrighted and the person would want their money. Now, you can, if you wanted this particular collection, you can still buy it from design bundles, you know, just by itself. Um, I will add a link to this. But as part of a free bundle, I don't think this is no longer available but it is still there available to buy if you want it. So going back to making our own collection of assets. Now I will warn you now that this is a very slow and laborious process. It's, it's a, as far as I can tell, there is no easy way around this. But first thing you need to, you open up your assets panel. If yours isn't visible, you just go to view, studio, and click on assets to put a tick in it. And once you have it open in whichever program you're using, you come to this little menu icon up here and you've got create new category. And it will just be called assets. So you then come back to your menu and then rename category. And this little box opens up here and we're gonna I'm just gonna call this space and click OK so then we have down here the subcategory which is just called assets and having a quick look at these I'm going to want maybe one two three four maybe five or six subcategories so let me come back to photo so I'm going to just quickly 
add those. So can I come back to this menu? Create subcategory. Come on. Let's start with five. I can always make another one if you want. So I'm going to rename this first one. So I'll click on its own little menu and rename. And I'll put here spacecraft and then the next one I'll rename aliens got stars and comets planets and no, it's not how you spell moons planets and moons ok and then this one we'll call star signs or constellations, but I'll leave it as star signs. So they have my little subcategories, and so I'll come back to my collection here, and this is partly why I'm going to use photo, is that I can just double click on this, and these are PNGs are all automatically by default set to open in photo rather than publisher or designer. So uh, this is why I'm doing it mainly in photo. So we're We'll start with these four constellations or star signs, so I'll double click each one. So they should now be open in a photo. So the first one I have is this one here. So as I want it in this subsection, I'm going to click on this subsections menu and then come down to add from selection. So that is now there. Now if you wanted to rename them, because they're all going to be called background, but if you wanted to rename it, you just right click on the particular design and then rename asset. And as I don't know what this constellation is, I can't really rename it, so I'm going to leave it as is. So once that's in, I can delete that one and then come to the next one, add from selection delete that one. So as you can see it's just kept, this is the laborious part of it is sort of doing them all one at a time. So that's the four star signs. So coming back to this we have let's go for the planets and moons which is that one. Right, this should be about what we need. So again, it's the planets and moons subset uh, category, so I'm going to click on that menu and then add from selection. And as this looks a bit like Saturn, I'm going to right click that rename and I'll call it Saturn so now when I hover the mouse over that that will come up with Saturn rather than background which all these ones are called so you don't necessarily want to sit here and watch me do all of this um, so I will start adding in the others and I will come back when, once I've added all the different categories. Right, as you can see I've installed into this uh, assets collection all the ones that I had categories for but I do still have a couple of things that are sort of like this um, satellite dish, the flag and the astronaut itself and this galaxy background. 
um, which I sort of don't really fit into my categories. So I'm going to add categories here. So again, I'll come back to this top menu, create a subcategory. Just wait for that to turn up. And then click on its own menu and then rename. And I'll call this one Astro. Oh, and I think that's how you spell it. No, it looks wrong. Might help if I. Oh, I can always go back and rename it later. Astro Nought. That looks better. Noughts. So, come back to this one here. And I'll, they, they do look exactly the same, these two, but I don't know what the difference is. Oh, his arm's just moving slightly. So, come to the astronauts one, and then add that one, and I can rename him. Oh, of course, one, Spaceman. It'd be a lot easier to spell. Spaceman 1. Rid of that one and then add from selection and then rename him as a spaceman 2. Okay, get rid of that one. So then I want another subcategory, which is that one, and I'm just going to rename this. I'll call this one miscellaneous items. So we'll come back to this one and do the satellite dish and the flag. I'm not too worried about those alien plants. I can't see me ever using those. And I'll just also open up this background. Which is quite impressive actually. Um, so this one come under miscellaneous items so add from selection and I'll just rename this one dish so I can close that one and add from selection and then rename this one flag and the last one I think I'll do a subcategory for this that is quite good actually um, I don't mean that to sound a bit um, derogatory that, I, that the others are good but <laughs> right so I just rename this last one and I'll just rename it a space backgrounds and then add that from selection and I'll just rename this one galaxy So that is all the ones that I want from that particular collection in my assets panel in Affinity Photo. Um, so if at some future day I download another three bundle that has sort of space images in, I can then put those into my collection of space pictures and then save them out into my computer and put them into the other two programs, uh, designer and publisher. Um, so to do that, I'm going to show you. You come up to the top here in this little menu again, and you come down to export assets. And I have some saved here, so I'm just going to call this one space, and then save. So if I come to 
publisher and the assets panel and come up to that same sort of little menu icon and import assets and then I can come to space open just wait for that so that has all been imported now into publisher and it should have all the names that I changed them to as I as I did it and let me get rid of that one so we could start with the galaxy background let's just squeeze this in a sec let's come to the move tool and then add a rocket in there where, where are the rockets are up here drag that on little UFO resize it now the only thing here is they are locked so let me just unlock that so I can now resize it and move it around and the same goes for this one here, I'll unlock it let's just add a planet in there somewhere again remembering to unlock it so as you can see that is, you can quickly sort of, well not quickly necessarily make the assets collection because it's a bit laborious putting them in one at a time adding them to your panel or renaming them all but once you've made it in say photo it's quite easy to export it and then import it into publisher and or designer so really that is the end of this tutorial I hope this has been of some help thank you for watching and goodbye